Step 4. Familiarization with IFC Options In this step, we will demonstrate how to configure an IFC Building Information Database from ARCHICAD. IFC is the ISO standard that supports model-based construction activities. It shares rich building information among disciplines and professionals dealing with all phases of the facility development lifecycle. ARCHICAD has an embedded, one-button publish and import capability that allows users to send and receive design project data in IFC format. The latest IFC add-ons for ARCHICAD, together with the IFC user guide, are always available for free download from the Graphisoft website. In this training step, we will focus on how easy it is to share an ARCHICAD design model in IFC file format with the other members of the extended design team. Activate the 8.4.1 IFC floor plan preset view in the Navigator view map to display a floor plan of the building. Let's have a quick overview of the project in 3D as well. Activate the next IFC 3D model view. As you can see, the office project has been nicely modeled using 3D building elements. However, IFC contains more complex information than a regular floor plan or 3D view. Let's return to the floor plan now and find out more about IFC related building element data. Activate the next IFC floor plan part preset view. This view shows the concrete structural walls around the elevators in the right wing of the building. Make sure that suspend groups is switched on on the standard toolbar. Select one of the concrete walls on the floor plan and open its settings dialog from the info box. The wall selection settings dialog box enables designers to edit the geometry and positioning properties of the selected wall. It can also display floor plan and section properties with which you can freely define cut fills, pen colors, and wall priorities. You can also define and edit the model attributes of the selected walls. The listing and labeling panel contains settings that can be used during IFC communication. Starting with ARCHICAD 14, three new classification type parameters can be defined for construction elements. These classification parameters and their content are crucially important when exchanging project information with other applications using the IFC format. The IFC element type parameter controls what IFC element type the given element is converted to. It can be left on automatic, in which case all element types will be converted to their default IFC counterparts, or you can set a specific element type to be converted to. For example, you may model a curved beam using the wall tool. If you set the IFC element type parameter of that wall to beam, then it will become a beam in the IFC file. The position parameter is useful when exchanging IFC data with energy analysis applications. It specifies whether the element is one exterior or interior to a building. The structural function parameter specifies whether the element is considered as part of the structure of the building or not. When it's set to load bearing, it will be exported to the IFC file as a load bearing or structural element. As you can see, the structural function parameter of the wall is set to non-load bearing, which means that this concrete wall will not be understood as a structural wall in the IFC project database. Click Cancel to leave this dialog. Let's set the IFC related structural or load bearing properties of all the concrete walls in the project. Activate the 8.4.4 IFC Structural 3D Model Preset View. This 3D view shows only the structure of the model, that is, only the cores of elements including composites and complex elements. Activate the Document Partial Structure Display menu command. From ARCHICAD 14 onward, this dialog has a new option, Core of Load-Bearing Elements Only. With this option, 
you'll be able to display the core of only those elements in which the structural function is set to either load-bearing or undefined. Note that this is different from the core only option, which mostly affects composite and complex structures. Select the core of load bearing elements only radio button and click OK to proceed. Walls disappear in the 3D window since their structural function is set to non load bearing. Once again, go to the partial structure display dialog and reset it back to the core only option and click OK to proceed. Use the Edit, Find and Select menu command to open the Find and Select dialog. Choose Wall for Element Type. Press the Add button and select Layer from the appearing criterion list. Set the Structural bearing layer for value, and then click the plus button to select all the concrete walls in the project. Open the Wall Selection Settings dialog and switch to the Listing and Labeling panel. In the Classification field, set the Structural Function parameter to Load Bearing Element. Then click OK to accept changes and leave the dialog. Also close the Find and Select dialog and deselect the selected elements. Again, open the Partial Structure Display dialog from the Document menu and send it to the Core of Load Bearing Elements Only option. Click OK to proceed. As you can see, all walls, columns, slabs, and beams are still displayed, which means their structural function is now set to load bearing. This is important for correct IFC export interpretation and later correct IFC import in Revit structure. Activate the next 8.4.5 preset view to go back to the floor plan. Let's open the IFC Manager now to display all IFC-related object properties of the currently open Office project. Use the File, File Special, IFC 2x3, IFC Manager menu command. The IFC Manager IFC 2x Edition 3 dialog appears. This dialog enables designers to review the IFC containment structure of the project. All floors, as well as their building objects, can be displayed and edited separately here. Select and open the basement floor from the containment structure and open the walls container underneath it. Notice that all walls of the corresponding floor are displayed here. Select any of the load-bearing walls from the list. Click the Show Selection on Floor Plan button at the bottom left of the dialog. Notice that the wall is immediately selected on the floor plan. Also note that in the list of properties on the right, under the PSET Wall Common Group, you can see the load bearing property. This property was automatically added by ARCHICAD and is controlled from the Settings dialog as performed above. It is now set to True since we set these walls to be load-bearing elements. Close the IFC Manager dialog and return to the floor plan view. ARCHICAD's IFC Manager functionality provides quick and easy access to all IFC related building element information. You can freely change element attributes and property lists or create new properties if necessary. Precise IFC object properties will provide streamlined collaboration between the various partners of the extended design team. 